I was hoping Reason 12 would have a change I've been waiting for. And that's the way it records MIDI. But sadly, it does not. The way it records audio is just fine when it comes to loops. You record your loop, it gets to the end, and it automatically will start an alternative take endlessly. So you can take take after take until you get performance just right. Or you can jam and figure out the part, come up with new ideas, or even use it as a practice tool. We're about to the end of the loop, and as you'll see, when it gets there, it'll go back to the beginning and start a new alternate take. much differently. It doesn't automatically start a second take, but rather overdubs the recording of many notes on top of each other. And I've searched the forums, searched everywhere on the internet looking for a solution, and I just found frustrated people, including a couple that said it was a deal breaker. But there is this easy and free solution that on Windows requires a little free piece of software that's useful in other ways. I used it in my last video to help send MIDI clock to multiple devices. And on Mac, I don't even think you need a third party piece of software. It's a piece of cake. So he just recorded three takes automatically. And then you can look in the comp editor and see all your different takes and it's easy to pick what you want and then use the pitch editors or slice editors to do whatever you want with the audio track. Now I'll record a piano part using a MIDI keyboard to record MIDI to play the radical piano, which is much too loud, but I always like to turn up what I'm recording to hear it over the mix. And it's recording the notes. I'm trying to play two-handed with my terrible keyboard skills. But then when we get to the end of the loop, back to the beginning, but we're on the same track, and then it just records the notes on top of the other notes and that's not good, that's not what I want. Or at least I want the option. Recording over could sometimes be useful to give yourself a third hand or... But if you don't want to do that, you don't have a third hand to press the period to create an alternative track for yourself. And you have to find a way to press that button without pressing it. And that's enough of that. Take a look at the MIDI notes. You can see just a mess of notes on top of each other from the two different takes. So the solution is a MIDI loopback. And on Mac it should be native. You shouldn't do need anything. On Windows, uh, Tobias Erickson made a program called Loop MIDI. It's tiny download it, install it, it'll start every time you start your computer, minimize it, and it'll just go down to the tray. Um, you shouldn't need any of the advanced features, but it has some if you need them. Um, it's pretty simple, and you won't even notice it. And once you got that um, installed, you will need to create a MIDI out device so pop that in above the piano and we need to switch it to loop midi because that's where we want to send a cc message so that's done and the next step is to edit the remote override key mapping and we don't want to use a key we actually want to use a cc message and i'm still 12 so i'm going to pick 69 i just watched bill and ted's too and we'll pick that and then we need to go up to our MIDI out device create something so we can look at it pick this little button here 
And then we'll pick 69 again as a CC. And then we should be ready. We just need to uh, put some data in there. When it hits 127, that'll trigger the button press. So you just need to make sure that it goes all the way to the top. And then we can get ready to play our piano part again. And this time when we get to the end of the loop, it should automatically create a second take. And work just like audio. And sometimes it'll, you'll see it'll leave uh, a little at the end, I think because of the snapping, but it'll fix itself when it comes back around again. And I hope that this helps somebody, because I know it's frustrating trying to figure out how to get it to do a simple thing that a lot of other software does. And a lot of time virtual cables are the answer, and a lot of times automation is the answer. And together, they work for us. Cheers.